Hey fangirls and boys, this is Natalie and you're watching Haul Lot of Love. For today's video, I wanted to discuss the new Hot Box collection by Melt Cosmetics. I have the entire collection um, and I just want to discuss how I feel about some of the influences behind this collection and also talk about the performance um, and the colors and swatch. I want to see if I could swatch all of the colors in this collection, so I'm pretty excited about that. Currently, it does appear that the entire collection is still available on the Mel Cosmetics website, so you can go ahead and grab that. The bundle, meaning the entire collection, it was $200 for the full bundle of the entire collection. It has eight liners, two lipsticks, um, and an eyeshadow quad, and that was with the um, little makeup pouch. That was $200. Yeah. And eyeliners and lip liners go for $17 each. The lipsticks are $19 each, and the eyeshadow quad is $48. So I guess you are probably getting a little bit of a discount. So the first thing I wanted to talk about with this collection was the eyeshadow quad. This eyeshadow quad is called the Haze Stack. So Mel Cosmetics, if you don't know, they have a very unique packaging. It's magnetized. Um, circles of individual eyeshadow. So it's kind of like a single eyeshadow. It's kind of like a palette. And these are some of the colors here. So we'll go over some of the colors and swatch them out. The first color is called Indica. And I definitely have to say for the names, they came up with pretty cool names considering, you know, the marijuana inspired themed collection. So they have good name, appropriate names to go with that theme. So Indica. I believe it's a type of strain of marijuana. Um, this is just a straight silver. Let's just swatch that out here. You can see that's kind of like an aluminum silver. It's pretty metallic. It's not really a chunky sparkly shade. It's more of a incredibly metallic. It doesn't have that, you know, dimethicone creamy foil feel to it, but it, it's like a similar effect. It's very metallic, very, very pigmented. All of their shadows in their whole collection are probably some of the most pigmented on the market. The next shade is called Bogart. So I guess Bogarting means, you know, being a little bit selfish with the marijuana intake when you're taking in a group. And let's just swatch this one out. So I would say that this is like a coppery shade with a little bit of a peachy iridescence to it. I actually have that today padded over the center of my lid and it is very pigmented. It didn't really work, you know, as a topper shade. I had to kind of blend it out once I put it on top of um, what I already had on underneath, but it definitely did brighten the center of my lid. It's, it's a little bit sparkly. It's still pretty metallic. It's not just total sparkle. A little bit more chunky, a little bit more sparkly than the first Indica shade. So the next shade here is called Haze. So it's pretty cute whenever Melt Cosmetics comes out with an eyeshadow quad. I, they usually, you know, one of the shades is kind of like the namesake shade of the name of the quad and then they have related shades. So this is the namesake. So this is the Haze shade from the Haze stack. So I guess it's, I feel like that's the shade that they're like most proud of, the most, the best shade or the most exciting shade in the collection or in the quad. So that's Haze. You can see it's incredibly pigmented. Also a little bit like sparkly metallic. I have that underneath the Bogart shade on my lid. And this one, it was a little bit harder to work with. I guess maybe it'd be better if you patted it on with your finger. I went in with a dense synthetic brush, which usually works well with for me with shimmery, intense shimmery metallic shades. But it, was, it had a lot of fallout. I had a lot of fallout on the side of my nose and cleaning it up was kind of a pain in the ass. I usually do my eye makeup first and this today, luckily I did do my eye makeup first so it wasn't that big a deal. But definitely it generates a lot of fallout. Very deep red um, and it's, it's really beautiful. So those were the shades um, in the... So the last shade in the stack that I have here is called Ganja. Again, it's just like a nickname for marijuana. Ganja over here we'll do just did a little further up because there's like I got haze a little a little spot of haze there as well. So this is ganja. It's like an old gold type of color. It's incredibly reflective in the camera here. This one is really pretty. I have that on my inner corner. 
And I do really like the shade. I think this is the most popping metallic in the whole collection. Again, chunky sparkly. So those are the four shades. They work pretty good on the eyes. I got a, you know, the pigment was pretty good. That one shade haze, very fallouty, a lot of fallout. But it, you know, it, you know, it just kind of like a learning curve with it. Um, I'll just pat it on next time, or you maybe use it a little bit wet or something like that, and it will won't generate as much fallout, and it'll be a little easier to pack on. I did have a little bit of blending issues today on my eyes. I also used. Um, other Melt Cosmetics matte shades from their Dark Matter stack for the rest of the look. And now I was having a little bit of a challenge blending them into each other. Um, I think, I don't think it's that they're, they don't blend well, I think it's more just that I have to, you, know, you have to work a little bit on these because they're so pigmented, you have to spend a, a fair amount of time blending them. But um, I overall, I really do like the look that I got with these. My one big complaint about the haze stack, something that does definitely frustrate me about this collection. They did name it the Hot Box Collection. It's obviously a marijuana inspired collection, which is pretty timely and cool. I guess, you know, marijuana recently got legalized in California, and I guess a couple of other states. It wasn't that recent, but it's pretty timely. But it does annoy me just that, you know, you're gonna have a marijuana haze inspired stack and there's no green shade. In the stack. First of all, I love green eyeshadow. It's probably my favorite eyeshadow for the lid. Green metallics are really beautiful to me. It's a fun way to play with color, very flattering for most um, skin tones and eye colors and things like that. So I would have really loved to see a bright metallic green in Melt's Cosmetics um, eyeshadow line. Um, and this would have been the perfect opportunity for, for them to do that color. It doesn't really make sense to me. When you have a marijuana themed collection, marijuana is typically a bright green color as I think we all know. I understand some of the other colors that they used, like the haze color, the bogart color, like marijuana has like a green but kind of has like a little fuzzy redness over it and like coppery color. So I get where they were going with some of these other colors. Haze is kind of like a fire kind of color, like smoke, fire, and I guess there are crystals, so the, that one indica color, the silver color, it makes sense. I feel like maybe they could have replaced that gold color. The gold color is beautiful, but I think it would have made more sense for the theme for them to do a green, a bright green in the place of the gold, and it would have made a lot more sense for the theme, and I think you know, just for me personally, I don't know how a lot of other people feel, but I would have been really exciting to have that bright green metallic from this line because they do make some of the most pigmented eyeshadows on the market. So Melt Cosmetics just rolled out their liner line. Um, they did it for like a 4th of July collection, which I also have. It came out with a bright red lip liner and two eyeliners, one that was a electric blue, one that was silver. It was kind of like you know, the American flag theme, which I thought was really cool for the first three eyeliners they brought out. I think the whole purp uh, the main purpose of this hot box collection is to expand and fortify their eyeliner and lip liner line because they pulled out eight of them. They put out three lip liners and five um, eyeliners, so there's three lip liners and five eyeliners. I'm going to swatch these and let you know my thoughts on some of these. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see some of the detail behind the look that I did today. So you could see I used the shade 420 um, as a winged eyeliner and I guess this is the first one I'll swatch out. This is 420 and this is the only place where they really brought any kind of green into the Hot Boss collection which is kind of annoying because it's kind of like a bluish teal green. It's not really a true green. It's a really beautiful color and I really like how the wing came out and on the eye it definitely gives greenness. It's a little more green than teal on the eye and I, I do like this shade. I just think they should have gone with the true green or they should have put it in the eyeshadow stack. The next eyeliner, which is probably my favorite eyeliner in this collection is, it's called 818. And I mean, I know that 420 is like the police code for marijuana related issues, so that's where they got that from. I'm not sure what 818 means, but um, this is 818, it's like a plum with like a little bit of golden sparkle in it. Really, really pretty. Next eyeliner I really like, I have it in my waterline right now. Um, I'm not sure, I guess it's it's wearing okay. Um, it looks really intense and creamy and pigmented on the waterline when you first put it on, but then it kind of fades pretty quickly. Like as I was doing my makeup, I noticed it was already pretty much faded and had to add more. 
so they're okay for the waterline, but they're not super long lasting or intense in the waterline. What I could see right now, and this is the, yeah, this is called baked. So like you're stoned, you're baked. This is, this color is really pretty. It's like, it's kind of like a mustardy eye, eyeliner color, very unique. I have typically never, I don't really recall ever seeing an eyeliner that color, but that's really, really cool. Uh, it's called baked. The next eyeliner I want to take a look at is Bloodshot, so like Bloodshot Eyes. And yeah, it's actually, it is an eyeliner, which is surprising. I thought this was one of the lip liners at first um, with the name and the color, but it's marked as an eyeliner. So there's Bloodshot, um, and it's, it's kind of like a the ox blood reddish kind of color matte so that's kind of decent these look terrible in the waterline these type of colors i have a mark jacobs eyeliner this color i put in my waterline it does literally make your eyes look bloodshot if you do it in the waterline so i would actually want to try it underneath the actual lash line or above the lash line i think that would look cooler but um that's a fun color this is the last eyeliner it is called our X Queen. This is like a gunmetal metallic. That's really, really pretty. So that's Our X Queen. I do like these eyeliners. They're pretty pigmented. Um, they kind of remind me of the Urban Decay 24-7 liners or even like Makeup Geek eyeliners. I feel like they're pretty similar to those. And they brought out some really cool colors um, of eyeliner um, in this collection. So those are the five eyeliners, and I'm gonna move on to the lip liners. Now the first lip liner I have here is Kink, and I actually wore Kink today. I didn't fill in my entire lips, I actually just did a lip line with this shade, um, and I do like it. It's nothing too unique, but that's right there, that's Kink. That's, it's a, you know, it's kind of like a deep berry, a deep wine kind of shade, pretty vampy. Definitely useful to have shades like these when you wanna rock that deeper, um, lip color. The next lip liner is called Edible. That's a cute name for this hot box collection. Cool tone brownish purple color. So that's kind of a unique color um, for the lips. I do like that. These kind of colors, like I feel like they're cool colors to just wear just on their own on the lips. It's like a pretty 90s grunge rock and roll kind of look. So the last lip liner I have here is called Santeria. Some of these names are a little funny and not super related, like Kink. It's the hot box theme, like Kink and uh, Santeria, like, okay. Um, it's like, just because you're smoking marijuana doesn't mean you're an evil um, pervert. So, but whatever. So this is, oh, that's pretty. I mean, I have definitely used a fair amount of this collection. I haven't used everything, obviously. So that's why some of my surprise reactions. But um, this is Santeria. This is kind of just like a dark, vampy purple um, lip liner. I actually think that the three lip liners they brought out are really pretty vampy colors. Really cool I, to wear on your own, on their own or over, you know, over color, um, over other lipsticks, which the lipsticks are the next thing I'm going to talk about. They definitely did the same color theme for the lipsticks. Again, they would have had a really good opportunity to do like a really cool, unique green lip color for this collection, um, since they do have a lot of unique shades in their line. But uh, I mean, it's cool. These these colors, these lip colors definitely go with the lip liners. Um, and it's nice that they brought out a bunch of vampy colors in their collection. So the first lip color I'm gonna talk about is Cherry. This is an ultra matte um, lip color. Also, in terms of the lip liners, I just want to get back to that really quickly. They are creamy. I never find lip liners to be super creamy. I, don't, I think they're supposed to be a little bit stiff to kind of hold your lipstick in place. But um, they're pretty creamy. I guess, again, they're kind of like the Urban Decay ones. Maybe a little less creamy than like ColourPop per se. But, um, you know, they're still cream enough that you could, they're not like a true pencil, like a number two pencil, but and you could wear them on their own. So this is the first actual lipstick. Again, this is called Cherry Ultra Matte. I guess it's kind of like a black cherry. It has a lot of purple in it. It's really pretty. It actually felt pretty good going ac across my arm. Sometimes Melt's Cosmetics lipsticks tend to be 
very, very matte and very dry. There's a lot of tug on the lip. It's almost like a liquid lipstick, but in a regular lipstick form. This one felt pretty nice. I know they have a color called Summer, which is incredibly matte and it's a very light color. So it can look really unflattering very easily. And I think it's a little too matte, but then I try other colors. Um, they had like a roses collection that I have and that one I didn't feel like they were too matte or too dry at all. So it's a little bit, I don't know if it's because they're always working within different formulas, but that was the ultra matte formula and it feels creamy. I think there's just a little bit of inconsistency um, some of them, some of their lipsticks are drier than others and I think most of them are supposed to be a matte formula. This other one here, which is actually the one I'm wearing my lips with the kink lip liner is called Mary Jane, which is a cute name. Another nickname for marijuana. I don't know how much anybody knows about marijuana, but I'm just throwing out some fun facts. So Mary Jane is actually an iridescent lipstick. So I was actually kind of excited because I was curious to see if it was a different formula. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be more sheer. It's not really too sheer. And it has, you know, this was one of the ones that was incredibly hard to pull across my lips. There was a lot of tug. On the lips, it does feel pretty dry. It's not sucking the life out of my lips and it doesn't look patchy. It looks very pigmented, very smooth. So I am liking the end result, but it was kind of hard to get there. Um, so this is Mary Jane. I guess it is more of a sheer formula, but it's not what you think of when you normally think of sheer. You would think like something that's kind of has a more slip to it, it's more moisturizing. It definitely doesn't have that. So that's Mary Jane. Again, very pretty. I'm wearing it right now. But yeah, very, um, very, very kind of like almost like matte, even though it's iridescent. It has like a matte texture, very drying, a lot of tug on the lips. Um, as is the case with many um, Melt Cosmetics lipsticks. That might be part of the reason why they're so loved because they're very long wearing in that sense. And the last piece from this collection is just a little pouch you get with the bundle. Um, it's pretty cute. I actually do like the color of this. They have like a mustard one and a red one you can kind of pick. I picked the bright green again going with the theme. So I think this is pretty cute. Um, you could, it's a good place for the lip liners. I got a similar pouch when I got the 4th of July ones. And they're just kind of really pushing the liner line. So yeah, those were my thoughts on the Melt Cosmetics Hot Box collection. I really do like the collection. My one real gripe with the collection is that they didn't put a green eyeshadow in the in the Haste eyeshadow stack. I feel like it was almost like someone thought it was a funny theme, like, oh, let's do like a marijuana theme collection, but they aren't someone who's actually tried marijuana or even seen it, because it's just weird that they wouldn't put a green shade. And I do feel like a lot of these shades aren't too unique. I was hoping for something like a kind of like a shade that's I don't see all the time or I've never seen before. I feel like I see these types of shades all the time, but they're a very good quality version of the shades, very pigmented, you know, you can get a really fun look. Yeah, I really liked the eye look that I did. I used a lot of different colors and I think it really paid off. It was fun trying to create a wing. I put a little bit of um, that one color 420 eyeliner on, on a angled brush and I just did the wing and it was cool and I thought it came out pretty decent. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Melt Cosmetics Hotbox collection. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye guys.